we are here, my friends. Let me take a moment to welcome everyone into our Mixology experience. Very excited to have you all here. That's what Poppy, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, all right, guys? Gotta give me some of that energy as well. It's not just one-sided. Okay, my friends, so uh, here, we're gonna be making two iconic cocktails, but as we're making these cocktails, guys, we wanna make sure that you got everything you need to make your cocktail. So we're gonna go through all of these utensils that you have on your tables. If I'm missing something, then you will let me know. Ay, caramba, ese man, yo no sé qué lo subió, pero no fui yo. He wasn't me. All right, my friends, so as we're gonna be, as we're gonna be going over all of our, uh, probando, 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 me gusta. All right, so as we're gonna be going over all of our ingredients so our, and all of our utensils, what are you gonna let me know if you don't have it, all right? So everyone, let's go ahead and go back through and walk through everything together. So the first utensils, I wanna make sure that you got on your tables, make sure that you got two cocktail glasses, all right? And if you got two cocktail glasses, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them into our hands, my friends, all right? And we're gonna raise them all the way up to the sky, and I like it, mommy, we're gonna move our body all right, because the first rule of mixology, my friends, is to enjoy it and to have some fun with it, all right? So yeah, don't be shy, my friends. Now, then you know what it's about. Let's go ahead and go and move to the next utensil on our mask, all right? So make sure that you got on your table your shaker. And if you got that shaker, raise it all the way up in the sky and move it. Yeah, don't be shy. I gotta tell you, my friends, we have one slogan. Well, we have a couple of slogans, but one of my favorite slogans in Casa Bagardi is that you do what moves you, okay? So that's very important for you to know. And guys, this is a three-piece shaker, okay? So make sure that you also have on your tables your strainer, and that your strainer has a little cup, a little tapita, mami me gusta. You gotta have both of them together, okay? Now, this in our list of utensils, everyone, make sure that you got those tongs, all right? Make sure that you got the tongs. And if you got the tongs, make sure that they are clicking. Make sure that they are working. You don't got the tapita? La pizza. La tapita. 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 All right, my friends, so now, if your tongues are working, are they working, my friends? Uh, yeah, good, good. So, everyone, let's go ahead and place them down because now we're gonna make sure that you got that bar spoon with you at your table, all right? So if you got the bar spoon, I'm like, I see that I'm gonna have salsa, sin miedo, and I'm gonna like it. All right, guys, so I gotta tell you, the bar spoon is gonna have two sides. It's gonna have the spoon side for adding ingredients, and you're gonna, have, you're gonna find the coin side for mixing ingredients. And the most important part, in the center, my friends, in the center, you're going to find the zuizo, all right? Well, you know what I like about the zuizo, and the most important part of it, is that as you're swizzling your cocktails, you gotta shake it, all right? That's the most important part of it all, all righty? <laughs> all right, everyone. So now that we got those uh, ingredients, oh! Make sure that you got on your tables your measurer, your shaker, okay? And your measurer is gonna have two sides. The small side is 25 millimeters. The large side of your jigger is 15 millimeters, all right, my friends? Very important that you know this and remember it. And the last utensil that we have in our tables, I gotta let you know, it, <laughs> it is my favorite utensil, my friends. And that is El Macerador, El Butler. And why, Mommy and Bobby, why do you think? Why do you think? It's my favorite one. I take it and I want to do a little dance. Yeah. So, my friends, go ahead and take that muller. I see you being very shy. Take that muller, raise it all the way up to the sky, my friends, and let's do a five second booty sash. You should have your meat leaves, your club soda, your sugar, your pineapple juice, and your coconut cream. Everybody's good? Yeah. All right, my friends. Dale, Bobby. 
queen. <laughs> so, our uh, friends, uh, are we here in the house of Rome to make some virgin cocktails? No. I don't think so, my friends. So make sure that you also have on your tables a mini bottle of Bacardi Superior Calta Blanca and a glass with Bacardi Añejo Cuatro. Do you have your own on your tables, my friends? Can I get a huepa if you have it? All right, so let's get ready, my friends, because the first cocktail that we're going to be making here today is the Cuba's National Cocktail. Why you want 
feeling our thumb, our cocktail glass all the way to the top with that little soda of this. And always make sure that you leave some leave space, that you leave some breathing space for your cocktail as well, all right? So everybody go ahead and pour that club soda, finish it out. Finish off that mojito. Oh, 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 me gusta, me gusta, oh, 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 me gusta, me gusta, oh, oh, oh. All right, all right, all right. And now, guys, I want to tell you, I want to ask you actually, is your mojito ready? No. no. I don't think so. Where is the flavor in your mojito? It's at the bottom, my mommies and puppies. So we're going to go ahead and take our bar spoon one more time, all right? And with the coin side, we're going to take that to the bottom of our cocktail glass, and we're going to begin to swizzle our mojito. And what is the most important part about the swizzle, mommies and puppies? What is it? Con la bomba viene, y con la bomba viene. Que rico, que rico. El Puerto Rico, mommy. And listen, guys, you can swizzle with two hands. You can swizzle with one hand. The important thing is that you are elevating the ingredients that are at the bottom all the way to the top, all right? You want to make sure that your mojito goes from transparent to murky. You should never accept a transparent mojito, my friends. Your mojito's always got to be murky. It's always got to be cloudy, mommy. It's got to be a little sucio, a little dirty, all right? If not, you don't want that mojito. Me gusta, looking cloudy, looking murky. Qué rico, se ve delicioso. Let's go ahead, everybody. You've got a fantastic job. Let's place down those bar spoons. And let's take that mojito cocktail into our hands. Place them all the way up to the sky, everybody. 